Hi Felicia, it was a pleasure speaking with, speaking with you earlier. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you some value, just giving you some content to help you out. Um, I know I wanted to provide you value up front, and so here you go. I'm just going to be showing you a couple different tips, you know, so you can help build out your website so that you and your uh, business or your family business can get more customers. And so um, first thing I want I wanted to notice here is here where it says Tree R Trees RS LLC. There's no website domain. So whenever people look up uh, Tree Service in Winston-Salem, like this right here, it makes it really hard for people to find you. And so how I found you was I went to more businesses and I went down this list here to see um, if I could find you. Let's see if I can. Okay, so now on the second page. Well, first page. Let's see. All right, so I don't seem to be finding you now. So basically, uh, that that's well, that's that's why it's important to put your website here. So basically, um, there's three different things I want to show you. First thing is content. All the words on your web page. Um, looks like you have some words. I don't know if Google actually counts like Google reviews. I don't think it does actually. But like all your words on the web page is really important. Google wants to see between 1,500 to 2,000 at least words in order to consider a website an authority on the internet. And so as you can tell here, the Google index for your website's one, um, and they ha you don't have a, a Bing index at all, and you don't have a Facebook a footprint. So your competitor over here, uh, Bobby's uh, Tree Service, you know, they these guys, they have 10, and they have 145 similar sub subdomain backlinks uh, and being indexed up to as well. Um, and so whenever we go through their website, we can say these guys have a lot more content on their website, showing them about us, you know, a little bit of information there. Um, 50 years of excellent service, and they have all these different questions with, uh, you know, you can click on them and you can figure out, you know, answer your questions. So you have a lot of content on their website. Another thing is, um, backlinking so that's all these different things here that people can click on so they can find the product or service that someone is looking for Google highly evaluates that because um, it help it shows Google that you're able to help people find what they're looking for so right here you know if uh, people are searching for tree removal or stump grinding they can look here however if they were to look up like tree fertilization and uh, Bobby's tree service provided that then they wouldn't be able to get that customer because that customer would think that it's well, well it's not there it, the, you got, these guys don't do it because it's not here and so um that's one thing that's really important that you can start implementing i know you guys have a couple here home contact contact us and about so if you have a services page and you can build that out more uh then that'll be really good so um those are two things first content second are those backlinks i'll start telling you about Third thing is called citations. And I use this tool right here, Local Citation Finder. Sorry, SQ, that's that's another tool I use as well. So, Local Citation Finder. You're probably asking yourself, what is a citation? A citation is another website that has your business name, your business phone number, and your operating hours located on them. So as you can tell here, Bobby's Tree Service, he has about 30 different citations. And his competitor, Lusk Tree Care Services, has 30, 24, 20. So you can tell they have between 20 and 30 different local citations. Um, our goal will be to beat them by a landslide to get at least 100. So that um, other, other websites or other domains are actually quote-unquote referring us. One thing that's pretty cool is after searching Tree Service and Winston-Salem, I can look at your competitors and I can look at exactly which ones they have an account with and figure out which ones they don't have an account with so we can maximize our our, uh, our ability to get your name out there and get more customers to recognize your business. And so it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to set up an account with these guys uh, with like Manta.com, Yellow.Place, Yelp, um, all those big famous ones, YouTube.com. Like these guys don't have a YouTube page. If you had a YouTube page, you could increase your domain authority by a lot. Um, so th those are all the different uh, websites that quote unquote refer you. 
the reason why Google actually looks for um, citations is because it makes your company more reputable. If more people are quote unquote referring you, it shows that you didn't just come out of the woods one day and say, hey, we're going to do trees. But it actually shows that you have experience, you've worked with people, you've, you've taken the time to create an account on these different places because you've, you, you're a built out business. And so again, just recap, content, there was on your page, the backlinking, and those citations that we were talking about earlier. And that will help build up your Google index so that you can get more people to recognize you um, in your area rather than your competitor, Bobby's Tree Service. So one thing I can use here is go to SQ and I can run a diagnosis of his website and your website. So Bobby, these guys have meta description, headings, images, uh, 16 images without alt text. I'll talk about that later if you want to ask. Uh, even Bobby, even his website has 13.28% uh, text to HTML ratio. Google likes to see at least 15%. So let's look at yours. Yours has 2.93% text to HTML ratio. Again, Google likes to look for about 15%. So hopefully that gives you some uh, value. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, all you have to do is just give me a call or send me a quick text message and I can help answer some questions that you may have. Again, you can take this information and you can do it all on your own, which I'm totally cool with. However, if you want some help or if you just want to figure out a little bit more about how all this kind of stuff works, you can just let me know. My name is Brandon. You can give me a call or send me a quick text at 704-476-6223. Talk to you soon.